Hey everyone, it's Steve, um, the events guy. Uh, as part of my journey to uh, learn new skills and become the best events guy that I can be, um, I've created your events guy as a one-stop place to go to to learn things with me as I learn them and I'll vlog and blog them. And uh, so today I want to share with you what I've learned in these dark times where we're all working from home um, about creating uh, video content that we can use uh, moving forward. So um, you're probably creating content at home for one or two reasons. One, because you're going to send it off to the, the marketing gurus who are then going to turn it into something special through editing uh, in post edit. Or you're going to post it yourself as a, hey, it's real time. This is what, um, you know, this is what my life is at the moment. Let me help you out. So I'm going to give you five useful tips that I've learned from the best and hopefully that what they've what they've been sharing is going to really help you out. So one of the first things is is about camera. So if you have a pro camera and you know how to use it, then fine, go ahead, use it. It'd be great. It'll be the best quality. Um, but if you haven't, most modern phones, you know, are amazing. I'm filming, I'm filming this right now on my iPhone 10. And, you know, most people have got the 11s or the, you know, was the S20s and whatever it might be. Use that camera. The, the, the film the film quality is going to be excellent. Um, the other thing is lighting. So make sure that um, if you are going to have lighting, make sure it's not behind you. It's going to look awful. So try and have some natural light if you can right in front of you. Um, and then it can shine down you. So today's quite a, a muggy day, but I wanted to show you that even on a muggy day, sat in front of a window, the uh, lighting quality can be still quite good. And you can see everything that I'm doing. Uh, the next thing to worry about is your background. What's going on in your background? Don't have anything that's really, really distracting. So I'm doing this from my office space right now. Um, and of course the, the background isn't brilliant. Um, but um, it's hopefully not going to distract you from what's going on. There's nobody walking in or, or anything else like that. Um, the next thing is sound quality. Most of our cameras and um, phones have pretty good mics, but what you need to do is make sure there's nothing distracting from that. So make sure your windows are closed, make sure no one's shouting at you. If you are sharing a house with loads of other people, make sure they understand that you're filming at that time. Um, and if you do have a better mic that you can attach to those, then go for that as well, which is really awesome. But uh, yeah, definitely sh shoot your windows. Um, what's next? So positioning of your camera. So you can see that I've positioned this camera at um, eye level. Um, so this should be pretty good. You're not um, seeing right up my nose. You're not seeing the top of my head. And so you can see that positioning, uh, which is fantastic. So they're probably my top five tips. Uh, so in recap, uh, camera, lighting, uh, what's going on in the background and your framing, uh, sound quality and the positioning. Yeah, I've got it. So um, the other thing to do is have a think about why you're posting that content. Is it really relevant? There's a lot of noise out there at the moment, so make sure that you have a really good why for why you're wanting to post that. Uh, so for example, my why today is like I said, it's part of my journey to make things a bit, a lot better. And in these times of COVID, I wanna make sure that we've got something uh, decent to uh, look at when I'm looking at other people's stuff and I wanna be able to help out with that. Uh, the next thing is um, you don't have to be RADA trained, you know? You don't have to be, um, have to have any special kind of training. You just have to believe in what you're saying, know what you're going to say, and just be honest and genuine about it. Just you know, you have to have a real reason to do that. Try not to let it be forced, you know? So once you have a good message that you believe in, as long as you deliver it and you're, you know, really open and honest about it, then it's, that's gonna come through and people are gonna buy into that. So I hope that you found this helpful. You know, please post uh, any comments uh, below and help me uh, help others on this journey that I'm on. And uh, I hope it's been a, a worthwhile five minutes. Thanks a lot.